Yeah. Has everything yeah. else has we're, been we're, done? We're waiting on the paperwork from Saudi, which we expect in the next week. Um, we've spoken to them. We know how they work. We've been there before, and we know it's happening. Uh, Robox fancy with Eddie Hen. Eddie, I'm not sure if you just noticed uh, Dave Zora behind you. Oh, uh, make some fine, absolute eh? gestures, know, uh, yeah. which I'm going to release in a bit. Yeah. Um, talk to me about that. It was unanimous decision. Mm. Looked good. Yeah, good performance. I mean, for six rounds, it was exceptional. You know, I mean, it was genius levels. Then he gave some rounds away, and I think, you know, in a way, you want to see that to make those other fights. I think if I'm Jesse Rodriguez or I'm Julio Cesar Martinez, I'll fancy my chances against Danny Edwards. Um, but he's a class act and you're going to see the best of him against the best opposition. There were times there where I was looking at you and telling him to sort of yeah. get, get it moving on, get it, get it going. Like, I think that if you're talking about the purists, you know, they watch... Um, they watch Sonny Edwards and think, wow, um, but like for 12 rounds. I just know that the bulk of the audience want to see him go through the gears and knock someone out. It's difficult to do in this weight category, do you know what I mean? But I know that if he would have turned the screw after six rounds, it would have been an unbelievable performance. But you're going to see the very best of him against the best opposition. How do you do that? Though? As a promoter, how do you make sure Sonny Edwards headlines but people bums are on seats? You make the biggest fights. You have to test him. You have to throw him in in 50-50 fights, which he's prepared to do. Him and Martinez is a 50-50 fight. Him against Bam Rodriguez, 50-50 fight. The Lackian, I don't know too much about, but you know, that's... You, you can't... We can't just get away with just doing voluntary defences. You know, that was his signing fight tonight, good performance, but we got a test in there. Can you talk about Chef Clark? Put on Great, yeah, really good. I think, you know, I mean, look, the, the division is fantastic, and, you know, when you look at the potential fights for Chef Clark, there are so many of them. You know, I said tonight, I believe he can beat Chris Billumsmith now, and I, I think that's a 50 50 fight now. He's only had six fights, and I love Chris Billumsmith, and it's not a knock on Chris Billumsmith, I joked to him about it, but. Chev has got so many levels to go to. He's exciting, he punches hard, he's entertaining, he trades up sometimes and sometimes he shouldn't, but he's going to be in a lot of big fights. Happy for Ellie Scotty, she was yeah, so giddy in that interview. Yeah, yeah, you you know, can tell what I meant She feels her. like she didn't box that well, but Shanika Johnson's a very good fighter and it was a very high level fight tonight. Delighted for Ellie Scotty, she's got some big nights ahead. A good win for Nina Hughes as well. Johnny Fisher, time to step up now. Salah's a little bit disappointing after he got hit. I think it feel like he just didn't fancy it. Um, 10 rounds coming up for him next and great performance from George Lidar. Great fight between Bellotti and uh, Kamari as well and uh, Shannon Ryan looked really good tonight as well and a good win for Muhammad Ali. Finally before I let you go, uh, fans want to know Anthony Joshua, is, it, is that offer come from Saudi, official offer for the Wilder we're, fight We're waiting December? for a contract from Saudi of which we believe will come this week. Okay. We've spoke to them and uh, we're ready to go for that Deontay Wilder fight. Have you had the informal chat so in regards yeah, yeah, to yeah, the, yeah, the figures yeah. and everything yeah. else has we're, been we're, done? We're waiting on the paperwork from Saudi which we expect in the next week. Um, we've spoken to them. We know how they work, we've been there before, and we know it's happening, um, but we want to get it locked in. And uh, August 12th is his next date, and hopefully that's Dillian White, but we'll see. Off to uh, New Orleans tomorrow, or Monday, whatever it is, and then ready for a six-week run. Hey, Dan, thank you very much. Cheers,